this video, I'm going to show you my favorite way to beat man coverage in Madden 23. This is also a really good zone beater and does have the potential to pretty much bomb every single coverage in the game. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe, and it just allows you to stay up to date on the latest tips and tricks to help you become a better Madden player. We do videos like this every single day just to help myself get better and to help others get better at the game. Now, really, really excited about this concept. We're going to be teaching you today out of the trips tied in in the Detroit playbook. If you're watching this video and you want to get my trips tight end offensive ebook make sure that you're in the patreon basically our patreon members get access to all of our ebooks and it's only ten dollars to sign up we already have six ebooks available including trips tight end and bunch on the offensive side of the ball we also broke down big nickel over g match defense dime 236 as well as a complete blitzing ebook to teach you how to blitz out of every uh, defensive formation in the game and we've got a brand new dollar three two ebook that we're gonna be dropping here in a few days so if you guys want to get access to all of that material make sure you're in the patreon again the link is down in the description all right guys so you can pretty much do this out of any play especially now that we have tight end apprentice in mutt um but basically what we want to do with this is we want to be able to have a post from the backside receiver now i have a tight end apprentice and an outside apprentice right now i have tony gonzalez at tight end and i've got randy moss out wide with outside apprentice you can actually find a really cheap outside apprentice this year if you want to tight end apprentice a little bit more difficult uh dave casper but of course he's really hard to get so we're going to teach you how to do this without tight end apprentice as well so don't worry about that and we're going to be utilizing the play inside cross so that you don't have to make any hot routes to uh basically make this play work for you all right, so we're in the inside cross. We're in Detroit playbook. Um, you can also do this out of Pat's Y in in New England's playbook. And basically what we're going to do here is we're going to set up a little man beat. We're going to create some natural picks and rubs that are going to help us beat man-to-man -man coverage. The way we're going to do that is we're going to zig the inside trips receiver. We're going to slant the outside trips receiver. We're going to wheel the running back. This wheel is actually really underrated this year for helping you beat man-to-man, -man, for helping you beat the blitz. It's a snap read. It's one of my favorite routes in the game. And then what we want to do if we don't have tight end apprentice, we do have tight end apprentice, we're going to put the tight end on a post or a tight end apprentice crosser. Both are really decent against man to man. If we don't have tight end apprentice, we're just going to put him on a smart routed in route, as you can see right here. So our first read every single time is to the running back. If he's not covered, we're going to throw that. But then our next read is going to quickly go to our slant. And typically that slant actually will get good separation. I'll show you how to help it if you're worried about the press. If you're worried about press animations in Madden 23, I'm going to show you a great little way to get this as an unbumpable slant just by motioning the triangle receiver to the right one step. And we're going to snap the ball. And you'll see here he will kind of come under the defense and be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage that way. Now, again, what we're going to basically get with this is, typically speaking, they're going to user the slant route. So I'm going to kind of simulate that just by manning up my user on the slant. And you're going to see that it's going to basically open up voids for us to be able to attack with some of the other receivers on the field. So what you're going to see here is our little zig route is super underrated. You see we create that natural pick and rub, and now our zig route is open to the sideline. If you have Donald Parm there and Mutt was short and elite, it's really, really effective. Um, so again, you do have the ability to hit that zig against man coverage if you are able to get that rub that you just saw. Another thing that we're going to be able to do with this play is as we play more man coverage, obviously they're dropping eight, by the way, um, but this post can beat man, as you can see right there, right on the break to the inside. doesn't always beat man, but it can beat man to the inside. And one of the things that I, I'm going to say right now um, that might be a little controversial in terms of the man beating uh, kind of tutorial here is if the outside receiver is on this post, I actually recommend in Madden 23 not smart routing it. I've just noticed that it gets better separation against man when i don't smart route the route and you'll see here pass lead inside and he doesn't always cook him i will say this year it's a little inconsistent but it's the most consistent post on the outside that i have found um, aside from the play pa slot corner with the post to the middle receiver and so it's a great way to us for us to be able to attack man to man if they don't have a middle third now, if they do have a middle third and you have outside apprentice i'm gonna give you kind of a free little tip here you can put a c route on the outside now, if we put a C route on the outside, we're actually going to go ahead and leave this dig over the middle of the field. Um, and then we're going to put our tight end on a tight end apprentice corner. If you have the ability to do this, great. If you don't, um, just wait. We'll be right back with you. Um, but what you'll see here is this C route will sometimes cook man to the outside, as you can see right there. It's actually fairly consistent. It's probably about 75% of the time chance that that is going to beat man. Uh, but those are some really nice little routes for you to be able to beat man out of this. And the beauty of this play is it's not just good against man. 
it is really good against zone. So if you're getting a lot of zone, um, the beauty of this post route and the running back route specifically if, is we're going to be able to use this wheel to kind of pull the deep half. And then you'll see that this skinny post will come over the middle and be in a nice little soft spot against that zone, as you can see. So we're not only able to beat cover two like that, but cover three and cover four as well. And obviously this does require a little bit of time. That's why if they are in zone, I'm going to show you one of the best snap throws in the game right now. Basically, this little motion snap slant, you can kind of snap throw that if you are ever in a, in a blitz. Typically, whenever you get a zone pressure, you're going to get something that basically looks like this, where we're going to send both slots, um, you know, and we might even drop this guy back into his own, and then we're going to use her over here, right? This is kind of a general zone blitzing deal that you will probably get if you play Madden 23. By motioning this guy inside, you see the zones will drift back. I can throw that ball right in that little alley, and we can be off and get out for 15 yards. So it's a great little snap read in case you're ever in trouble and you need to get the ball out quick. But against cover three and cover four, you know, really we're just working our concept. And this is a shallow cross concept. We're bringing the shallow route, which is this little slant route right here, kind of underneath the zones. If they guard that, we're going to have our tight end post or our tight end in right in behind that shallow crossing route. If they don't guard that, which I'll try to give you a little bit of an example of a coverage that won't guard that as well, um, something like this, if you will then we're going to take our slant over the middle of the field. So again, if their user says, well, I'm going to go guard the tight end, then you're going to be like, okay, well, we're going to take that right there and we're going to get about 10 to 15 yards. It's all about the check down game this year. Really important that you take those quick reads. As you can see, this, this concept really is good against a multitude of coverages. The last coverage that I want to show you uh, this with is the, kind of a simulated version of this, but basically it's a it's a blitz a man blitz if they're ever pressing you pressuring pressuring you out of man to man uh sorry i can't say that if they're ever pressing you out of man to man they're going to be using this defender right here and um basically what we want to be able to do with this is we want to put them in a position where their user has to go you know it's kind of to the tight end at the snap of the ball so just to kind of illustrate that we're going to put him on a middle read um, but he's going to have to like hover and do all of those things to make those blitz effective and when we do this little motion you're going to see a little um kind of a unique little concept here we do this motion and you see this running back right out quick as long as they don't swat the ball um but you see the running back right out quick is really good if he's not manned up um or if they're sending even if he is manned up like let's say you know, let's say they man him up with this guy. They're going to use her. This guy, this is actually a kind of common uh, defense this year. You know, something like this. This is basically spinner out of dollar. Um, but what you're going to see here with this running back is if there's not someone out there on him hot, you can throw this with an outside pass lead right about here, get it out quick, and we're going to be up for about 10 to 15 yards. So it's they, it forces them to have to put coverage over there, have to put coverage on the left, and then you can work the middle of the field with the slant and the dig route. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn more about the Trips Tied In offense, make sure that you join our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up for the Patreon, and it'll get you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive eBooks, including our Trips Tied In. The link is down in the description, so if you want to sign up, head on down to the description below and click that link down below, and hopefully we will see you guys over at the Patreon page.